This morning's prosecution submissions focused on the Andy Coulson era of the News of the World. The Crown believes it's got the evidence to link him and Rebecca Brooks, the editors at the paper's top table, with the phone hacking operation on the ground. And so the jury was told about the role of this man, private investigator Glenn Mulcair, who's admitted twice now hacking phones at the request of senior news editors. Prosecuting Andrew Edis QC said, Mulcair was a phone hacker and a good one, and we know he was an accomplished blagger. The court's just heard a tape of Glenn Mulcair calling an O2 call centre. He uses a false name, James Cook, but a correct password, and he asks them to reset the voicemail password on someone's mobile phone. The prosecution says that would allow him to target their voicemail messages, even though they thought they were password protected. Andrew Edis said Mulcair knows how it works. He knows the right things to say. He told the jury he's chatty and she, the O2 employee, doesn't seem at all worried. In 2006, controversy surrounded the business affairs of the then minister Tessa Jowell and her husband David Mills. The prosecutor said he would produce phone records showing how in the newsroom defendant Ian Edmondson, the news editor, got interested and then made calls to Glenn Mulcair, tasking him with hacking their phones. The records, he said, would show Mr Mulcair accessing the voicemail and reporting back to Mr Edmondson, who denies phone hacking. As do Rebecca Brooks, Andy Coulson and managing editor Stuart Kuttner, who was not present today for health reasons.